All right, let's talk politics. According to the Washington Post Election Lab, Republicans have a 93% chance of taking the U.S. Senate two weeks from today. But DNC Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz disagrees, saying the president and his issues are not on the ballot. Dana Lash is a radio show host and the author of Get uh, Hands Off My Gun comes out today. Good morning to you. Thanks Good morning. so much. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on the new book. Thank you. Hi. I'm very excited about it. Well, let's uh, do a little projecting. Two weeks from today, America's going to go to the polls. Debbie Wasserman Schultz says that uh, Democrats are going to keep the Senate. Oh, bless her. You know, she's. <laughs> I, I, I get that as the DNC chairwoman, she really needs to be positive. And she, need, well, for a number of reasons for morale mm -hmm. and for money. She needs that donation money to keep coming in. But statistically, if you look at Real Clear Politics Average, if you look at the Cook Political Report, if you look at 538, that's not in the cards. I mean, we can all do basic math. Republicans are going to take the Senate. I hesitate in saying that because it seems as though whenever Republicans realize they're on the edge of victory, they get in their own way. Mm -hmm. And that ends up, you know, they mess some races up. So I'm hoping that it's smooth sailing. But we have eight races that we look to pick up. I mean, I, I, I foresee Republicans taking the Senate. All right. Even if they do uh, take the Senate, uh, Mark Stein was on yesterday. Mm. He's got a really deep voice. He uh, was on. He <laughs> says, listen, it doesn't matter about elections. Uh, he believes Democrats are winning the culture war. Listen. If you're not out there competing in the schools, competing in the pop culture, uh, competing in the media, competing in the uh, mainline churches, uh, then the air that we breathe becomes liberal. Uh, that's the default setting of society. And whoever gets elected on a Tuesday morning in November doesn't actually make that much difference. Mm. Do you buy that? Do you think the Democrats are winning yeah, a culture war? I, I do. I absolutely do. And I think it's because Republicans, it's a combination of they're afraid, afraid to engage and they don't know how to engage. And there's something that Stein had said previously, too, that, you know, Republicans are competing in a liberal society, in a very progressive society. So it's really difficult. I mean, w w Republicans have the mindset that we can just go in and change out the candidates, change out politicians. But that's not where the work is done. I mean, mm -hmm. the work is done on the ground. The work is done, as he was saying, in the schools, in the theaters, all of that. That's the culture. That's where the work is. If you wait until it goes to the ballot, you're too late. Yeah. Dana, the name of your new book we mentioned it, Hands Off My Gun. So yeah. I want to ask you about this issue. New York has banned 34,000 citizens who are mentally unstable from owning guns. Right. Is this a slippery slope? What do you think about it? It is. This is all part of the New York SAFE Act, which kind of terrifies me because that New York SAFE Act is a Pandora's box of government regulation. And I get into that a little bit in my book, Hands Off My Gun. Uh, this, this law, these people, 34,000 people, have not been mentally, they've not been adjudicated to be mentally unfit. Sure. These are a lot of people who have not ever have never seen a, a, their day in court. They never get to face their accusers. There's a process by which someone can be deprived of their Second Amendment right. And when you can be anonymously accused by a, a health professional or a health worker of being mentally unfit and put on this list, that's a little unfair. And there, there are even medical professionals here in New York who say there are too many people on this list. Your book is great. You're a very good writer. And you start Thank by you. talking about how you come from a family of bitter clingers. Yes, original bitter clingers. And you get, right. Real quickly, can you explain why gun control is the real war on women. Gun control is the war on women because firearms are the ultimate equalizer. I am 5'6". I'm about 125, 127, 5'6". In my mind, mm -hmm. I'm like 6'2", 250 pounds. If I'm unarmed and a man is going to come and do something to me, we can see Lara Croft in the theater, but I'm not Lara Croft in real life. Yeah. And so, statistically, I will be overtaken unless unless I have that equalizer, a firearm. Women, I want to point this out too really quickly. Women, we've always had the right to be armed. We had our fight to get the right mm -hmm. to vote. We've always had the right to be armed, and I resist any attempts by Michael Bloomberg and anti-gun lobbyists to deprive us of another right. Hands off my gun, the brand new Dana Lash book. Thank you very much for joining Thanks. us. Thank you so much. Very good.